My name is uh, Elena Fidium Kasmia and I am Professor of Migration and Refugee Studies here at University College London, where I'm also the Principal Investigator of the Refugee Hosts Project, um, which I am working on um, alongside my co-investigators, Professor Alistair Ager, Professor Lindsay Stonebridge and Dr Anna Rowlands, in addition to our writer-in-residence, Yusuf Mustafa Kasmia, and a large number of research colleagues uh, working in Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey and Germany, who include uh, Dima, Rahme, uh, Dr Rana Dajani, Rania, Sash, uh, Shata, Sura, um, who have been conducting research in Amman, in Irbid, uh, in Zarqa and in uh, Jarash in Jordan, and our colleagues uh, who have been working in Lebanon, who include uh, Bayan, Hana, Reem, uh, Leone and uh, Muhammad, who have been conducting research in uh, the uh, Hamra neighbourhood of Beirut, in Badawi refugee camp and in the adjacent neighbourhood of Jabal al-Badawi in North Lebanon and um, supporting our Turkey-based research in addition to conducting research in, uh, in Germany, Leone and Palladia have been, uh, been pivotal throughout the, the research pro uh, process. We've also been supported in our online uh, community of conversation uh, platform by Aidan Greatrick and by uh, Sorica um, Daly, who many of you have already met and who will be very happy to answer any questions that you might have throughout the day, in addition to Sabina de Graff, um, and a team of uh, conference assistants who, again, are identifiable through their blue name badges, so please do approach them if you have any questions. Not all members of our team will have the opportunity to present formally throughout the conference proceedings, but all of us who are involved in refugee hosts um, have refugee hosts on our, on our name badges, so please do approach us during the breaks or during the reception to ask um, our team members about their particular roles in, in the research process, and we'd be very happy to, to have a conversation or to continue the conversations um, throughout the breaks and the receptions. So, as many of you know, uh, Refugee Host is a four-year large interdisciplinary research project which has been funded by the um, Arts and Humanities Research Council and by the Economic and Social Research Council, two of the UK's research councils. And the aim of the project, which started in 2016, has been to examine how, why and to what effect local communities on a neighbourhood level have been responding to the displacement of people from Syria, um, with a particular focus on local responses in Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey. By focusing on displacement from Syria, we have not limited our discussion or our analysis to Syrians, but have been exploring um, as well the experiences um, of hosting people who are Palestinian, Iraqi, Kurdish, etc., who have been displaced from the overarching conflict affecting, um, affecting Syria. And we've been doing so in collaboration and with partnerships um, with a number of organisations, including Penn International and English Penn, also uh, the Joint Learning Initiative on Local Faith Communities and Refugees, Stories in Transit, and with Save the Children's Humanitarian Affairs team. And if you could please ensure that all the telephones are off, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And this two-day conference is the first of a number of conferences and events that we will be organising across the Middle East and in Europe during this fourth and final year of our project, um, and which is offering us an opportunity to share insights derived from our interdisciplinary research project um, over the past few years. But at the same time, while our project has been focusing on intersecting processes of conflict, displacement and hosting in relation to, to Syrian displacement in Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey, this two-day conference is also an important opportunity for us to bring refugee hosts into critical conversation with academics, practitioners, creatives who are working on related issues and questions both within and also beyond this uh, regional context. And indeed, in convening this event, we've been attentive to continue challenging and disrupting a variety of discursive and policy frames which have been used in accounts of displacement and which have often included a tendency towards exceptionalism and also a tendency towards a widespread presentist bias in analysis of displacement. So this conference and our broader project um, aim to examine responses to displacement from Syria in relation to rather than in isolation from other geographical and historical situations and processes. And related to this, we have also been engaging critically with questions surrounding the production of knowledge um, in and about refugee and um, conflict situations. And viewing conflict, displacement and hosting situations in relation rather than in isolation includes analysing the specificities of local experiences of and responses to displacement from Syria since 2011 as they intersect with other overlapping conflict and displacement situations. 
we're aiming to trace connections and relationalities with other displacement and hosting contexts around the world throughout the two-day conference, including um, bringing in um, experts who are sharing insights from Uganda, from Greece, from South Sudan, from Bangladesh, amongst others. So framing our conference around discussion, exchange and debate and around different types of knowledge and data in inverted commas also requires us to be open to feeling challenged and to feeling unsettled and uncomfortable at times and we hope that this will be comfort, you know, productive discomfort as it were. And it also obviously requires us to acknowledge the deeply political nature of the situations and the lived experiences that we are discussing and the extent to which the conversations that we will get engaging with can be challenging on personal, intellectual and political levels alike. We will aim to engage critically with diverse perspectives and approaches and always in the spirit of equality and respect and our speakers, chairs and facilitators will support us in doing this. With regards to equality and addressing structural barriers to participation, we're very grateful to our funders for allowing us not only to conduct the research which underpins this project and to organise this event, but also to allocate funding to, amongst others, provide bursaries to enable people who would have otherwise been unable to attend to be able to join us. We've been able to provide childcare to support participants and speakers alike, again, to ensure um, that those structural barriers are uh, addressed and also to translate and live stream today's proceedings um, in, in Arabic as well to reach hopefully a broader audience in so doing. We'll also be producing podcasts etc which will be accessible um, in both languages afterwards. Nonetheless while we're very very happy we're thrilled that so many of our refugee hosts colleagues um, who live and work in Lebanon and in Jordan for example are here with us today including Bayan, Reem and Rana. Um, other team members um, with whom we have been working very closely have been unable to, uh, to join us for a diversity of reasons. These do include work and family commitments of course but most poignantly three of our colleagues Muhammad who is Palestinian Marwa and Dima, who are Syrian, um, whom we had invited to speak at this conference about their research and their creative practice, have uh, had their visas, uh, their visa applications refused by the UK authorities. The hostile environment towards migrants and refugees and the immigration regime's consistent racialized and racist discrimination are very well documented. And we at Refugee Hosts obviously join those powerful voices that continue resisting the unequal power structures that prevent and restrict the movement of people and prevent certain people's voices from being heard as they speak truth to power. So we echo the demand for a change in immigration regimes that prevent people who were based in the so-called Global South, including people affected by and responding to displacement through their research and practice from speaking in their own right, including at events such as our own conference. Where other colleagues have decided to stop convening events in the UK um, for this very reason, we took the decision to go ahead and host this event in London, viewing it as one of several conferences and events that we will be organising across the Middle East and Europe over the coming year, and knowing that our colleagues' views, voices and expertise will be heard in those countries and through them in many other contexts. So in light of this situation, we will continue challenging the structural inequalities and the barriers to participation and contribution um, the contributions that exist around the world and in our small measure we are trying to do that through live streaming and translating um, our events and ensuring that our future events are equally um, translated into as many languages as we are, are able to and live streaming those in those processes and today we look forward to welcoming one of our colleagues uh, Dima um, online as she had decided to contribute to the event through a pre-recorded video um, so she will be speaking um, through that video on, on panel one. So with these opening remarks um, in mind, it's my pleasure, a real pleasure and an honour to welcome our distinguished um, keynote uh, speaker, Professor Homi Baba, who will be introduced in more detail by um, our colleague and friend, um, Professor Lindsay Stonebridge. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elena, and um, welcome. Um, when we sat down to think about this conference, I can't remember us actually having a conversation about one person we definitely wanted to have as one of our keynotes. For me, was just in the room. <laughs> I, I don't think we did have that conversation. Um, Hami Baba is the foremost, I think, theorist of the most intimate places of power, history, politics, and imagination, currently theorizing and working. Um, I don't know another academic who gets inside 
spaces of human experience in quite the way that he has done over his long career. For me, Baba, in some ways, gave us the vocabulary to talk about um, some of the places we're trying to think about in this project, those intimate, intricate, complex spaces of hosting, of being with one another in often appalling and vexed historical places or times, our times. Those terms that Hermi brought into our vocabulary, ambivalence, the third space, mimicry, hybridity. I might also add, he's one of the world's, one of academia's most brilliant and continent and generous hosts. He's this man who really does understand hosting both intellectually and personally. Homi is currently Anne F. Rothenberg Professor of Humanities at Harvard. I'm sure most of you will know his previous books, Nation Generation, um, etc. But I'm delighted that two new books are currently on the way, The Global Measure and The Right to Narrate. I'm delighted um, to ask Homi K. Baba to open this conference, my friend and colleague. Please welcome you.